Hi right, guys, today I want us to model uh, to this dynamic system of uh, a spring mass system and do some simulation. We're going to use a D solve in MATLAB. Let's see. Now I'm going to solve this equation that is m double dot x plus t dot x equals zero this is the equation of the motion of a spring spring mass system that has that does not has have a damping uh, a damp, damping system therefore the first thing we need to do is we need now to define the initial uh, command that is a uh, clear then you can close the the uh, workspace and close all. Then let's now define here definition. Uh, maybe I can use uh, this one to be a section. I want to use a mass to be 750. The spring stiffness to be 50. Thousand newtons meter. This one is um newtons meter. This one is uh, kilograms. Our time vector will be from zero to one, zero to one, just one second. But the in incremental to be zero point zero one. Yeah. This means now I'll get 0 0.01, 0 0.02 up to 1. Okay. Then we need to define the initial position that is x naught to be 0 0.01 meters. This is the initial displacement of the spring mass system. Then we need to define initial velocity. We're going to assume the initial velocity is 0 meters per second okay for this type of analysis we have to use now what we call symbolic equations therefore here i'm going to define symbolic symbolic equation this one is a symbolic equation therefore i have to define my equation by using command symbolic sm SYMS, an equation x of t that defines the displacement of our spring mass system. You have to be defining the the oxidation here. You can see this x or this x. I'm defining an equation. This equation, this I want to say it is a symbolic equation, and I know that x t is my equation that gives me the displacement for me to get velocity i need to differentiate if we find that if if we differentiate the x just once one for once we get velocity this one is uh, you can see this one is a uh, velocity if you differentiate twice if uh, of equation but twice get acceleration therefore let's now those are the symbolic equations then we need now to solve we need to solve the equations here we can use a command called d of x equals we can say now um d solve basically these are the initial conditions I have defined here. Mass of the spring system here. You can see this M mass spring stiffness. We are using a symbol C. Time vector initial position of everything. And then we want to define the equation by using a symbolic XT. Okay. And therefore, um, I don't know that. If xt is my displacement, the first derivative of xt 
dx becomes the velocity, second derivative becomes acceleration therefore. For the dissolve, for the dissolve you need to provide the equation. My equation is mass times d2 times acceleration here. Um, add, you add stiffness multiplied by x. Because from this equation, you multiply the equation by x. The reason why I'm using stiffness multiplied by x like that. And this equation has to be equal to zero. You don't have external force acting onto the system. Then you have to define the initial conditions here. The first initial condition is uh, my displacement. That is the same as x at the knot. Remember the, the, the this one the initial conditions here. Then we also need to define acceleration. The velocity, velocity, initially at zero. Um, this one to be equals to x and that's called x dot. Initial here, we can use we are using time domain. Okay. Therefore, let me explain here. We are telling the MATLAB to solve. Uh, it's a differential equation d. So you have to provide the equation here. Mass times acceleration. And remember dx2 here is my acceleration. You add stiffness multiplied by the x. The x there. The x the one we are going to solve. And this equation is supposed to be equal to zero. Basically, I'm defining this equation here. Mass times acceleration equals bring stiffness multiplied by equation x. Then you provide the initial conditions at t naught. What is x naught? x naught is this value. And x dot initial velocity is this value. Then using those two parameters, solve. If you evaluate this, let's see what we get here as, as our x. Uh, and recognize, uh, okay, this one is x dot. And here I'm using x dot here. Yeah, I'm missing that one there, okay. Let's now see x. You can see now the equation of motion is this. It now becomes a cosine of this, this value. And you know that this one is a sinusoidal. And this one is the equation of motion of a, a spring mass system. Okay. But now, using this equation, you can't get, you can't get uh, a good data. You have now to evaluate this equation. Let's now evaluate the equation here. Let's evaluate here. We need now to get function handle. I'm going to use um, basically what I need here is x underscore function. Basically, uh, I, I want to convert this value of x to a MATLAB function. Therefore, my x function, x function here, is I want a MATLAB function of x. I'm going to take this value of x here. The one is I, we, we got that is a cosine. Then we convert to a MATLAB function. And we're going to assign whatever is converted to x fun. Therefore, the x fun will be uh, the, basically it will hold the value of x after converting to matter function. Then, we also need to evaluate uh, this, the, we need to evaluate the velocity. Remember this one is a function handle 
function under for displacement because it is an x remember x gives displacement but now this one is uh let me do x dot fun to be a matlab function of diff of diff x you have to dif differentiate uh, the value of x if you find the derivative of x you get the uh, velocity therefore this one is a velocity and, uh, yeah then you can say now the value of displacement with time then let me call let me do x underscore t it is supposed to be x at a certain time that is a this means displacement at a given time is the values of x fun at that given time same case applies to velocity the given time is x underscore dot i'm using the function handle at a lot specific time then we can plot we can plot now time again this displacement and you see that you see what happens there yeah let's now run and see you can see now we what we are getting you can say 0 0.001 is our initial at time t naught we are at 0 0.01 as you can see, once you let once you let the spring mass system go, it oscillates from 0 0.01 to negative 0 0.01 back and forth. And as you can see, the value at this point here and, and, and at this point is the same because we don't have dumping in our system. You can see we have the same value here. Therefore, and the, the let's let's now also plot. Let's plot uh, maybe time against the scope. Let's see for this one here. Uh, let's, uh, let's call a figure here. Figure and see that one there. Yeah, as you can see now, this one is a uh, one for the displacement here. You can see we are starting at zero can see the initial here x dot is zero this one is velocity you you decelerate you then you accelerate yeah that's how you can model this system in MATLAB thank you stay tuned for more